Hi, I'm Elke Valoverta, and this one is about Washburn's Nuno Betancourt signature model N4, made in Japan in the early 90s. <laughs> I just got home from our Cyrus two-week Japan tour and I brought this with me among quite a few other things. <laughs> I found this at Ishibashi Music in Osaka, Tokyo. It was there in the corner and it called my name. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I grabbed this. I was like, immediate goosebumps. <laughs> I remember, immediate connection. It was just like, yes, you know, when sometimes guitars just, you know, it, it was, it was a no-brainer, no and, and and the price was, <laughs> it was a steal. So original, 1990 or early 90s. They said 1990, but you know, these these early Japan makes it's really hard to tell tell the tell the year. And I think they they started to make this in 91, but uh, yeah. After I got uh, hot to the hotel room, after our show, I wrote the song you're about to hear. It's very, very you know, inspired. But, you know, sometimes guitars, they have songs, they have... This guitar had that song, apparently. So let's listen to the song now. I, I used uh, ADA MP1 preamp boosted with a rat, or it's a clone of a rat, into Marshall JCN2000 TSL100 power up, so directly to the return of the effect loop, then into my Marshall 9060BX cabinet with green box, mic with a single SM57 and SC Electronics VR1 ribbon mic. After I feel myself, I doubled the rhythm guitars and pan them hard left and hard right. So the, the left one, which is a bit louder, that's when I recorded myself. And then the, the solos, they are, are, are centered. There's a bit of a delay and even tight on the solo to make it spread. But uh, other than that, uh, the rhythm tone, it's, it's pretty dry. So, and after the microphones, the signal went into my warm audios WA412 microphone preamp and then into audio interface and to logic. But anyways, without further ado, let's listen to the N4 song and then I tell a little bit more about this guitar and the Japan-made N4s in general. Rock and roll. <laughs>
guitar on its own and how spanky it is so yeah I like I said I, I, I just bought this this is a completely stuck except I think it has been refreshed because it's been played a lot the shallower what you know vibrato Floyd Rose it's it's really it has seen some some you know use and abuse but about this Japan-made Enforce, I wasn't even aware that they made this back in the day. So I did some research in Japan and now for this video. So I happened to find all kinds of info and, and, and stuff about the guitar. So as you probably know, Stephen Davies made the original ones for Nuno. Like, I don't know how many he made. It has this extended cutaway which is really handy it's really easy to access to the upper frets and according to it wasn't Stephen Davies but a guy who worked with him back in the day he said that uh, these early early 90s Japan made Enforce are the closest of the original Stephen Davies what he made personally his Enforce and all the specs like these little, I'll put some pictures, they are exactly the same, just been worn out, probably because, uh, well, actually, I sanded a little bit of, of the frets to a bit smoother, so the, the text is a little bit, you know, not viewable anymore. But So these are basically identical to, to the early N4s, which I think are, are quite pricey, and, and these are starting to be quite price it too if you happen to find one. So there isn't any serial number anywhere but there is actually under here a picture there. I need to actually cheat what, what was my my serial number. It was 400, 486 is my my serial number. I, I've seen these go like 1900 something but the, the early ones are, are the you know, Stephen Davis Enforce later, they probably changed something. And what was pretty, well, not so surprising, uh, I found out that uh, these were made at the Tokai factory, at least based on information from internet. And uh, the guy, I can't remember now his name, but I'll put links in the description where, where he said that the, these early ones made by Tokai are like exactly the, the same Stephen Davis made back in the day. And it has a original 
B. Lawrence L500 and a Seymour Duncan 59. It's a shallower license from Floyd, Floyd Rose, shallower tremolo, really, really good. It's, I have a couple of originals, then I have one EVH. This is like the, the originals, absolutely great. And the, the tuners are, uh, according to you know, many sources, a Godoch, Japan brand. These are just labeled like Washburn. And, and uh, yeah, really light guitar, a bit smaller than your your uh, average Strat body. Not not much, weighs about the same. I, I think this is like 3, 3.2, 3.5, 5 kilos. Really easy to play. Jumbo frets, ebony fingerboard, maple neck, and uh, alder, alder body. So, yeah. The, the pickup it's really spanky because many times people ask me how to how to sound like this or how to sound like that and I usually say that or always say you have to play like that because it's it's here and yeah you know if you want to sound like you know you gotta play like like him but I must say that this guitar and this pickup definitely helps to achieve that that really top end percussive attack because alone this is almost like a tele really spanky but more more bottom and the pickup is it, it's just like really you know up there so uh yeah but that's the the story in in short about this japan made made uh enforce and one thing was that uh this according to internet, that uh, this was so good that it was like early 2000s or something, Washburn actually purchased, got whatever, these from Japan, and they put the Made in USA, you know, stamp on there and uh, sold them as Made in USA, because these are so good. But obviously they, they got caught on lawsuits and stuff, and I guess that put out Washburn business in Europe for quite a while, or at least didn't make you know any good so really good guitar this yeah i can but let's check out the sound some of the sound so now i have the rat picture there it's hardly open the the gain just a little bit volume boost i just like what it does to the to the ada mp so now it's with the rat now without Just add this. This nice clarity and, and tightness. I think Nuno used to use a rat in front of, uh, I don't know if he used in front of ADA, but at least in the first album, I, I think, according to some, so I have a bunch of old guitar players and worlds about Nuno. He said that he used a JZM 800 and rat, and then uh, pornography it was the AEA and whatnot gear. So that's that. And then if if we take off the rat, let me show you the the neck pickup. <laughs> And then the middle position. Well, 
this isn't very high output pickup, at least compared to EMGs or slash Alnico juice. Quite, quite medium, and this, well, 59, it's a classic 59. <laughs> to cleaner sound. Well, it's the exact same settings. Uh, I can't remember what they are, but uh, well, actually, let's see. Someone's gonna ask you anyway, watch the ADA settings, what I have. So, let's see. Overdrive 1, 4.4. Overdrive 2, 5. Master Gain, 5. No, master, yeah, master gain five, bass nine, mids minus two, treble zero, of treble from the pickup and from the guitar, presence four, and no chorus, nothing. That, that's that's it. Then the the rat just to give it a little bit. So this first one what I used on the song, and now it's it's the tube distortion. Now it's the, the clean tube, the exact same settings. The solid state playing kind of like you know Roland JZ 120. If we add a boss and chorus ensemble. This is cool because on this solid state mode the overdrive one becomes a the compressor. Pretty good, good sustain too. Even though it, it's floating, I'm planning to actually uh, upgrade this. You know, few tone, if you dash tone.com, they have these you know big blocks which you know adds more sustain. And then the the stopper which I have on on, on this guitar there. So then I can probably gonna put a drop D D tuner D tuner here and it probably carve out a little bit so I can have this on drugs <laughs> like this guitar it's uh had to completely because the settings I had there it was just like you know with a I had dialed them with a less pole so it was like okay treble back off because this guitar has so much spank and, and and the pickup and then Let's put the channel one and I have a delay in the loop because I think that's what Nuno used to use. So just a little bit, you know, give give you that uh <laughs> Thank you. 
Determine if the Floyd is good if it does if it does this. Dirrit in Finnish and then keeps in tune. battery died on the camera as you can probably hear and see I'm, I'm quite excited about the the guitar so conclusion absolutely fantastic guitar I, I must say really personal you know spanky twangy tone the pickup is like you know original Bill Lawrence if you happen to find one, there is, there's a, these are available every now and then in used markets. And I think Ishibashi Music, I'll, I'll put a link in the dis description, they, they might have, have, have these. And I, I, I check the, the shipping isn't, isn't, isn't that much. So definitely strong recommendation if you want to have a hot rotted lightweight, easy to play. The neck isn't that thin, at least on this one. It's actually... I feel really comfortable. It's not as thick as on my Les Pauls, but it's not, you know, those, you know, matchsticks in it next, which, yeah, I mean, it's all about personal personal preferences. But, uh, yeah, great guitar. And as soon as, hopefully, uh, I will get the FU tone stuff soon, I'll do a video when I put the you know the the stop thing here and the big block and i will carve out probably space for a d tuner so maybe you know you could learn something from that too anyway thanks again for for watching happy 2023 this is actually my first video i've filmed no second because uh, the first one was from cyrus tour it's going to be a you know longer like a vlog kind of thing from the tour, behind the scenes stuff, but I, I just wanted to 
make this this the first because I, I wrote the the song inspired by this this guitar and I, I really 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 like this. Yeah, all the best. Until next one. Take care. Rock and roll. Bye.